Let's start with some background. Gestational diabetes is a temporary type of diabetes and is one of the most common health problems for pregnant women. Glucose intolerance is an early stage of the condition. Gestational diabetes is not your fault. It's caused by the way the hormones in pregnancy affect you. It occurs in about 5 to 7 percent of all pregnancies, so you're not alone. During pregnancy, an organ called the placenta develops in the uterus. The placenta connects the mother and baby and makes sure the baby has enough food and water. The placenta also makes several hormones. Some of these hormones make it hard for insulin to do its job controlling blood sugar, also known as blood glucose. Insulin opens your cells so that glucose can get in. During your pregnancy, your body has to make about three times its normal amount of insulin. Gestational diabetes develops when the organ that makes insulin, the pancreas, can't make enough insulin for pregnancy. Without enough insulin, your blood sugar can't leave the blood and be changed to energy. This causes extra sugar to build up in the blood. Okay, the fasting blood Most women with gestational diabetes will have a healthy baby. If you keep your blood sugars in a safe range, the chances of you or your baby having problems are the same as if you didn't have gestational diabetes. But if left untreated, gestational diabetes can cause health problems for you and your baby. That's why it's so important to work with your healthcare providers to keep your blood sugar within a safe range. One important way to do this is by following a healthy meal plan.